Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number uh, 57. So, we have been uh, trying to evaluate the Langrange bracket. So, in that context, uh, we wrote the equation for the xi, xi dot, eta and uh, eta dot. Okay, so, uh, we have the equation for the xi, uh, I have kept it ready for you. So, xi dot uh, we have written like this and this can be reduced here in this format. So, finally, we get xi dot in this format and we are looking for dou xi dot by dou a. So, we, we just differentiate this quantity, this is not dependent on a. So, uh, therefore, once we differentiate it, so th this gets a plus sign and this is 2 mu by a cube and t minus capital T 1 minus a square. Okay, and once we evaluate this at the point say if, uh, dou xi dot by dou a, if we evaluate at t, t equal to t, so t equal to capital T. So, once we evaluate immediately you can see that this quantity will be 0 because of presence of this term. Okay. Similarly, we have the eta dot here given. So, dou eta dot by dou a, this quantity here this is a dou eta dot by dou a will be equal to minus 1 by 2 times a to the power minus 3 by 2 mu under root times 1 plus e divided by 1 minus e. So, this gets reduced to the format minus 1 by 2 a to the power or this, this will come in the denominator with say, a to the power 3 by 2. So, we can take it inside and write it as mu a cube okay, times 1 plus e divided by 1 minus e. And this is nothing but then this quantity dou eta dot by dou a, this will get reduced to minus n by this quantity is nothing but n times 1 plus e divided by 1 minus e. So, there is no t equal to t appearing. So, th this way this case is simplified. Okay, so, this way we will be able to evaluate all the terms like we have to evaluate now dou xi by dou e, dou eta by dou e and also we need to evaluate dou eta by uh, eta dot by dou e and dou xi dot by dou e. This is for the second bracket, we require this quantity eta eta because there we are working with respect to I see here uh, a e, a e we have done. So, here eta is appearing with respect to e. E. So, this we have to supply and also here in this place we have to supply uh, the term. Okay. So, the uh, other terms we can evaluate following the same trend. Dou xi by dou e this quantity then you can check by differentiating yourself, this will be equal to minus 1 n square t minus t whole square times 1 minus e whole cube. Similarly, dou xi dot by dou e, this will be equal to 2 n square a t minus t 1 minus e whole cube. So, if, uh, as the evaluation we are doing at uh, this implies that dou xi by dou e 
at t equal to capital T, this will be at the that is at the perigee, this quantity gets reduced to a minus 1. So, this is minus a. Similarly, from here we get dou xi dot by dou e at t equal to t equal to 0. Okay. So, this way you will be able to evaluate those quantities. So, I summarize this the results here at t equal to t this quantity is 1 minus e dou xi dot by dou a at t equal to capital T this equal to also 0. T equal to capital T from here this is minus a T equal to capital T from this place this is 0. So, this way we can complete this uh, all the terms which are required similarly for dou eta by dou a at t equal to t this will be equal to 0. This will be equal to minus n by 2 1 plus e by 1 minus e P equal to t this turns out to be 0 dou eta dot by dou e. So, for this quantity we have to evaluate and the following the same scheme you can evaluate it okay. and this will turn out to be uh, we can write it here in this place. Okay, once all these things are available, so uh, it remains to evaluate the Langrange bracket. And therefore, the first we are looking for this is A e. So, this quantity how much this will be? A e is dou xi by dou a and dou xi by dou e, dou xi dot by dou a and dou xi dot by dou e okay. and plus see as we have written here dou eta by dou a Now, insert all the values that we have worked out. So, dou xi by dou a this quantity is 1 minus e, dou xi by dou e we have written as minus a worked out and this is 0 and this quantity is also 0 and plus dou eta by dou a um, this quantity was 0, dou eta by dou e uh, this quantity also we found out to be 0. Do eta by do e, we have uh, okay. and uh, finally, for this quantity uh, do eta dot by do a, we have uh, got as minus n by 2 times 1 plus e 1 minus e and do eta dot by do e, this we have got as n a by 2. So, immediately it is a visual we need not write so much uh, for working out these quantities 3 by 2. So, what we observe that this quantity is 0 0. So, this turns out to be 0. So, a e this quantity is 0.
Okay, so this way we can evaluate all the terms. Now we uh, we divided our uh, Langrange bracket in three types. The first type we wrote as alpha r and uh, alpha s. The second type we wrote as alpha r beta s and the third type was beta r and beta s where alpha uh, r and s they are varying over 1 to 3 and beta also from 1 to 3. And this I have explained earlier why we are not writing 1 to 6, but rather using 1 to 3. This is for the ease of uh, processing. So, uh, our alpha r this is concerned with A alpha r or alpha s, this is concerned with A, E and T okay. and beta r, beta s it is a related to i small omega and capital omega. So, the, the and forming them uh, using them we can then form the um, this uh, Langrange brackets. So, from here uh, if we look into the uh, let us first look into the second bracket. So, uh, this is the second type. Okay. So, here alpha r beta s that means we have to form the brackets like uh, what we are looking for. So, here alpha if we take from say here a and then from the beta we choose. So, this will be a i then a small omega and a capital omega. Similarly, we choose the second one E. So, then we will have E i E small omega and E capital omega. Similarly, we choose the T. So, we will have T i T small omega and T capital omega. So, these are the 9 brackets which are corresponding to the off diagonal terms which uh, as I have explained you for this one or either this one. So, opposite of this then uh, if we need here we already know from the Langrange bracket property that this quantity will be equal to I A. So, the for the other things we need not do. So, overall we have to evaluate this 9 bracket here in this place 3 from this place and 3 from this place total 15 we have to evaluate. So, out of that already we have looked into this A is A, A is belonging to this group ok, it is over the self over the first group. So, that we have computed to be 0, but first we complete this type 2 and thereafter the rest will follow. So, this exercise uh, can be done uh, we cannot uh, do so, so many things here in this place. So, capital omega A which is equal to minus A times capital omega. So, this quantity will be N A cos i times 1 minus E A square divided by 2. So, four of them it is a listed here, then we have A i equal to minus I a, this quantity will be 0, then E i 
this quantity also equal to 0. So, how many we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 are listed here in this place. Okay, from the type 1, then we have alpha r, alpha s type. So, here in this case we will have a t equal to minus T A already this part we have evaluated. So, this way the type 1 is listed here. So, you can see that only 3 are here. Okay, we need to evaluate only 3, the rest 3 are uh, just with opposite sign. And type 3, which is beta r, beta s, and this is related to i small omega capital omega. So, these brackets can be written as i times capital omega minus. So, the number of brackets they turn out to be 0. So, our case is simplified a lot. Okay. Thereafter, we can once we have evaluated this Langrange brackets, now we can sit to uh, solve for the uh, Langrange equation that we have written. So, substituting brackets into the Langrange equation we have derived derived earlier Tj or Ci, whatever we have written earlier. So in this case, this is T. Actually, this was like Cj and Ck times Ck dot, and summation goes over k equal to one to six. So Cj we choose as T, and then k varies from one to six. So if we expand it, so immediately we can see from this place, uh, this gets reduced to T, and uh, here rest of the things we have to follow. So, C k the first one let us say this is a times a dot plus T e times e dot. Then uh, we have a total of uh, the other things are uh, the self one is 0. So, that we obviously we are uh, not counting. Uh, while here just by putting and then varying it from k from, so only thing that t here will be spared. So, uh, this k will be chosen from a e uh, this, uh, small omega i and capital omega. So, the, this 5 will be used here. So, the, the other one will be t small omega 
times omega dot plus t i times i dot and then t capital omega times capital omega dot and on the right hand side then this is minus dou r by dou t. Remember this term was actually minus dou r by dou c j. So, c j we are replacing it here by t and therefore, this is coming here in this format. Now, all the language brackets we are aware of. So, from the previous one we can go and look into t a how much this is. So, t a this quantity is n, a, n a square a divided by 2. So, n a square a divided by 2 times a dot okay, t a. T a this is t a with and that will come with a minus sign. So, here the minus sign will appear then plus t e. So, t e this is 0. So, this is set to 0 the whole thing will then get reduced to 0 t omega. So, t omega uh, it may be on the previous page t omega is here this is also 0. So, this quantity also turns out to be 0 then t i. T i is here in this place. So, this is also 0, so, T i is 0 and then finally, this term T capital omega. So, we will look for T capital omega, T capital omega this is also 0. Okay. So, this is minus dou r by dou t and from there then we can write a dot this equal to 2 by n a square a dou r by dou t. And the same thing if we express in terms of sigma, so there will be little bit of change. So, we have m equal to n t plus sigma we have written and we are sigma equal to minus n capital T. So, immediately we can see from this place that if we are trying to write in terms of dou r by dou t. So, this will be dou r by dou sigma times dou sigma by dou t. So, this quantity dou r by dou sigma and dou sigma by dou t from this place this will be minus n. Therefore, in this equation a dot we can replace t in terms of sigma if we replace it. So, this is minus n times dou r by dou sigma and this gives us 2 minus 2 divided by n a dou r by dou sigma. So, if writing the equation in terms of sigma what we have got the result? a dot equal to minus 2 divided by n a dou r by dou sigma. So, this is the first step we have achieved. Now, we have to express r in terms of all these parameters and thereafter we have to uh, take the derivative uh, with respect to this sigma and uh, then only we are getting we will get this a dot. So, a dot along with the uh, other terms so, it forms the uh, what we call as the planetary equation, the Langrange planetary equation. It was derived by Langrange. So, what is the limitation here that r we have to express in terms of potential and every time we cannot express in terms of potential and therefore, uh, some of the terms like uh, once we have the aerodynamic drag like things available. So, at that time we rather than expressing in terms of potential. Uh, which is r here we express in terms of uh, the force. Okay. Similarly, we will have dou r by for calculating working with the dou r by dou r i term. So, we will have here we will write i and here c k c k dot summation over k equal to 1 to 6 and this equal to minus dou r by dou i. 
we expand it expanding in the same way we can write it i a a dot plus all of them I am not going to do here uh, rest in the supplementary material you can look or either you can derive it yourself also then a small omega times omega dot i sigma or i t times t dot and this equal to minus dou r by dou i. And now insert all these values. So, i a this value is 0, i a i e is uh, we go back and look here into this i e this is also 0 i omega i omega term is i omega is in the same group. So, we have to look somewhere else i omega we have written here this is also 0 i capital omega i capital omega also here it is a coming here minus n square a then this is minus n square a and 1 minus e a square sin i then capital omega dot and then i t term i t term was in the first type i t is 0. Okay, so we worked with T, so there also the T i term has appeared and here also the T i or i t term has appeared. So, well this term is uh, this is 0 T i term and therefore, we put here 0 and minus dou r y dou i and this implies minus or n a square a a square this mm, minus minus plus one minus a square. We have to divide it. We have omega dot equal to dou r by dou i divided by n square a. So, this is omega dot. So, this way you can get all the um, derivative terms related to a capital omega e dot a dot capital omega dot e dot i dot, but some of the terms may be combined together which will involve and now here you can see that only dou r by dou i is appearing in some of them they will be mixing up. So, if they are mixing up so if, uh, you know, whatever way if, uh, so if, uh, sometimes you will see that here only one term fortunately only one, one term is appearing, but suppose this term was also present. If this term were present, so in that case uh, what we have to do that uh, this is a mixture of e dot then and capital omega dot, then we have to separate it out the equation. So, the, this exercise I have done uh, in the supplementary material. So, all of these things I am not going to uh, write here. those equations I will not solve means wherever the mixing has taken place that I will not solve because it is a merely a solving uh, uh, exercise of solving some linear equation 
int uh, capital omega e dot i a etcetera and that can be done very easily by you. So, I will left this all those things as an exercise. Okay, so, this way we have got here uh, dou r by dou i and here we have uh, i i a small omega we have used as i capital omega equal to this appearing with let me check the sign i capital omega this appears with a minus or plus sign we will check it once. Yeah, otherwise, I will have to work out uh, this whole thing. Okay. okay so, finally, if, uh, so whatever the procedure we are following, uh, this is the procedure of working it, working with this and uh, there is nothing wrong in that. Only thing that sometimes the sign may get dropped out in one or the other place. And whenever that happens, I will always uh, supply those uh, terms. So, capital omega here perhaps uh, mm, uh, this should be a this should come with a plus sign uh, in the next class I will verify it. Okay. So, once we do this, so if, uh, then the uh, let me write here this should be with a plus sign perhaps. So, this is I am going to verify in the next class. So, in that case then there will be a minus sign here in this place. Okay. Okay, so, this way we can uh, conclude that a dot equal to minus 2 the same process we have to do with all the terms. E dot will be equal to 1 minus E square under root. I am summarizing the results, the all the things I have not written here. cot i divided by n a square 1 minus c a square dou r by dou i you can see that the terms are mixing up. So, you have to obviously earlier some of the terms we are mixed up I have uh, this is the salt part I have written here. Uh, capital omega and omega dot say they were mixed up. So, those are separated out and written separately you know, only then then the terms are mixing up here because on the right hand side in this equation of the Langrange bracket C j C k times C k dot okay, minus dou r by dou C j is there. So, only one e will appear. So, that simply implies that somewhere the omega capital omega they were mixing up and from there we have solved it and therefore, this has come here in this format i dot
Okay, so this way how many equations we have written? 4, 5 here and 1, 6. So, total 6 equation and this together they are called Lagrange planetary equations and this need to be solved, but it can be solved only if you know the r in terms of these parameters. Okay, once you insert that, then these equations can be integ integrated and it can be solved. So, general perturbation equation, uh, the way of general perturbation equation, it is uh, valued over a small span of time, not very long period of time and the and from using that concept, the Langrange did it. Okay. He was a great mathematician, so he did it and uh, now if, if we use this equation, so it will be valid for a short time, not very long time. Okay. So, the general perturbation method deals with uh, simplifying the equation of uh, motion such that it is a valid over a short period of time and also then it can be integrated to get the solution, the general solution. And this is called the general perturbation, uh, general orbit perturbation theory. Otherwise, uh, if the, the other term which I have used earlier, this is a special perturbation. So, that deals with the numerical integration. So, there if you have to get the what will be the future value of A and all other things. So, then you need to integrate the equation of motion directly, integrate it and from there whenever whatever the value of x, y, g, x dot, y dot, z dot you are getting that you can utilize to uh, get these parameters at different instant of time. So, this is the difference, but there how to uh, integrate those equations that itself uh, uh, it involves a lot of uh, a, a number of techniques and uh, uh, for very precise propagation where you are concerned with sending your satellite from one planet to another planet, so you need to be very precise. So, in that case especially the challenge is there that if your system is, your integration is not precise, so you are thinking that your satellite has reached to this point, but it is not at that point. So, there the problem will be uh, occurring. Okay. So, uh, rest of the things uh, it follows the same step what I have done here. Only thing here uh, this sign uh, we uh, need to verify like here uh, as I have told you that uh, this may be plus sign. Uh, I might have done a mistake in writing the uh, things. So, here on this side this can be a minus sign. Okay. So, capital omega equal to minus 2 r by dou i this quantity. And uh, in the next class uh, we will verify all these things. So, uh, now the thing is that once we have done this the same way all other uh, terms ca can be evaluated like the terms related to what we have done right till that extent is do r by the first term by do a perhaps this was uh, do r by do t first was which we have written in terms of sigma this we converted into do r by do sigma and thereafter we have taken do r by do i. Okay. So, similarly you can use k equal to 1 to 6 the Langrange bracket if uh, then i we have used right now, yes i we have used. So, small omega, omega let us say small omega and c k, c k dot equal to minus do r by do c k. So, we need to insert all in all the places. Okay. Similarly, we will have capital omega c k times c k dot c k uh, this is minus dou r by 
दो सी के सॉरी दिस इज सी जे हियर इन दिस प्लेस सो सी जे दिस इज दिस विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय ओमेगा दिस विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय ओमेगा हियर बिकॉज दिस टर्म इज सी जे नॉट सी के सो दिस इज दो कैपिटल ओमेगा as we have written here okay k equal to 1 to 6 similarly we will have omega t we have already used 5 1 2 3 4 we have used so a c k सी के डॉट इक्वल टू माइनस डो आर बाई डो एंड देन ई सी के सी के डॉट इक्वल टू माइनस डो आर बाई डो ए सो दिस वे टू ऑलरेडी वी हैव वर्कड आउट ओके एंड दिस फोर नीड्स टू बी डन वंस यू डू द सेम प्रोसेस वॉट आई हैव डन हियर सो यू गेट दिज इक्वेशंस and these are our lagrange planetary equation which needs to be solved in order to get how the orbit is getting perturbated okay so we stop here and then we'll continue in the next lecture thank you very much